Four in 10 companies on the NASDAQ Composite Index has seen their market value halve from their 52-week highs. Bank of America reports the classic 60-40 portfolio of stocks and bonds, the go-to investing method for decades, has lost a shocking 34% this year. That's the worst performance in 100 years. And even more so, established businesses are trading at levels unseen since 2012, meaning this might be one of the greatest trading opportunities of the decade. As you know, this isn't financial advice. This is just what we're seeing in the market. So let's make it fast. Here are 15 blue chip stocks down over 50%. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number 1. Disney. Currently trading at $100 a share. It was trading around $90 a share just a few days ago, compared to its all-time high of $197 per share in March 2021. Down 49%. Now, to put things into perspective, the last time Disney was trading around $90 a share was back in 2014. Since then, the company's been restructured and added the wildly successful Disney Plus streaming platform. Number 2. Meta. Currently trading at $130 a share, down a whopping 65% from its all-time high when it was trading at $380 a share. Facebook, well, Meta is getting absolutely destroyed right now. They might have made their bet on the metaverse too early as demand for the metaverse is low, especially around Facebook's core user audience, which skews on the older side. Apple has crushed their advertising model through a hostile takeover of the entire market. And all of this resulted in a massive drop in Mark Zuckerberg's personal net worth, and we're sure to be followed by plenty of sleepless nights and angry investor calls. But with all that said, the company still has Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and its Quest division. There's still plenty of value and talent there, so we personally wouldn't short the stock. Number 3. Verizon and AT&T Bet you didn't expect telecom to be on this list, but here we are. Verizon is currently trading at $35 per share, down from its all-time high of $62 a share. AT&T isn't looking that great either, currently trading at $17 per share, down from its all-time high of $44 a share in 1999, or well, a more recent high of $32. Now, this is happening in a day and age where people are spending more time online than ever and investments in digital infrastructure are through the roof. Now, important to mention is that both Verizon and AT&T are dividend stocks. Number 4. Starbucks For the green mermaid coffee lovers, this might be a great opportunity for you to own the company that sells you your overpriced pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks is currently trading at $85 per share, down from an all-time high of $126 a share. Now, it's fair to say that this is the only stock on the list who's not really trading at under 50% of its all-time high value. We put our money where our mouth is when we announced we're buying it at $70 a share back in May of this year. Some of you might even remember that video. And look, call us basic, but we love Starbucks and the consistent experience it offers around the world. But there's a valid point to be made about consumer behavior in the near future. We're in a recession right now, and its effects won't be visible or felt by the masses until the second quarter of next year. If people will struggle financially, will they be so willing to spend their income on above-market coffee? We don't really think so, and the early signs are already here. Just look at Starbucks's cash flow for the last three quarters. If the last quarter of 2020 ends up being negative as well, despite school starting and the sweater weather outside, we're definitely looking at a recession. Number 5. BlackRock Currently trading at $572 per share, which is similar to where the stock was in January 2017. Now, to put things into perspective, at its all-time high, it was trading at just under $1,000 a share. $971 a share, to be exact, just one year ago. For those unfamiliar with BlackRock, they're basically the shadow company that owns everything. And here's where it gets crazy. 
The entire world economy is worth approximately $100 trillion. That's all the money in the world, all the production, all the products, all the labor, everything, 100 trillion. And out of that $100 trillion out there, BlackRock has over 10 trillion as assets under management. They're in every country owning shares in basically every company that matters. BlackRock is the institution that lends money to governments and manages the money of the super rich. As of putting this together, the stock market hasn't moved yet, but we see no reason why it wouldn't recoup those losses in the medium term and then some. Outside of shares in some of the most valuable companies, BlackRock manages funds for governments and we're seeing them get ready for a recession. All these big financial institutions are getting ready for a big financial event. Both Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley recommend looking to alternative investments to rebalance your portfolio. The biggest hedges are raw materials, crypto, and art. But let's face it, you're not going to start buying copper and although we're big proponents of the crypto ecosystem, you never know what's waiting in terms of regulation. The last frontier is luxury art and the data looks promising. Because even in 2022, with these historic losses we've been discussing, Morgan Stanley reports the average price of fine art is selling for 26% more at auction than this time last year. This is really exciting for those looking to recoup their historic losses, but how do you invest in art yourself without spending millions? With Masterworks. Masterworks lets you invest in paintings from legendary artists like Picasso and Banksy, not NFTs. They break down the paintings into shares. That way you can invest in part of a percent of a luxury painting and when it's sold, you get your share of the potential profits. And Masterworks just sold a painting at the start of October for an incredible 21.5% in net return. That means if you'd put in 15 k you'd walk away with over $18,000. In fact, six of seven Masterworks' exits have delivered over 20% net returns in a time when everything is down between 30 and 50%. As a result of this standout performance, Masterworks is constantly releasing more art on their platform to meet demand, and there's a wait list to join their 500,000 other members. Since they're friends of our channel and have been kind enough to sponsor this video, you can skip the waiting list by going to masterworks.art slash alux or by clicking the link in the description. That's one of the many perks of being a member of this community. Number 6. Adobe Currently trading at $318 per share, down from its all-time high of $688 per share, down 53%. Adobe just made massive headlines last month when it acquired Figma for $20 billion. Last time Adobe was trading this slow was three years ago, and with the rise of digital work, we still trust the company will continue to dominate the space, especially amongst professionals. Even with the rise of AI design tools, a mammoth like Adobe isn't going away without a fight. Number 7. Airbnb Currently trading at $112, the all-time high was $212, down 47%. Historically, we're big fans of disruptors, and we got the opportunity to learn directly from Brian Chesky, the founder of Airbnb, while taking our startup course at Stanford. So, you know, Airbnb holds a good place in our hearts. Not to mention that we personally have invested in the company and have properties monetized through Airbnb, so we're a little bit biased. We love using the platform and we feel like something is brewing regarding their long-term vision. In our opinion, Airbnb is a great product that will need to evolve. If anyone's able to create a super travel app, we think Airbnb or Google have the strongest shot at it. Number 8. PayPal Currently trading at $87, all-time high $308, down 71%. PayPal is a bit of a weird one right now. Now we say this because it's actually a very profitable company that brought in $25 billion last year, yet it's being obliterated by the market due to growth concerns. Not to mention that just a few days ago, they were once again in hot water for sneaking a $2,500 hidden tax. 
At ALOX.org, we sell digital products and still a really good portion of our sales come through PayPal, and that seems to be the case across a lot of big players as well. There are definitely more players in the digital money space right now, but PayPal is a titan in this industry and certainly has the funds to continue to innovate. Number 9. Intel Currently trading at $26, all-time high $68, down 61%. Intel is actually a bit of a surprising drop because if you look at the numbers, their revenue is actually up 20%, but word on the street is they're having problems with their new chip. Despite Apple moving away from Intel chips, the company is set to be sustainably profitable. They're on a mission to drop costs extensively by laying off approximately 12,000 people. So we'll just have to wait and see, especially considering how Intel has been slowly losing ground against chip rival AMD. Number 10. Shopify. Currently trading at $34 a share. All-time high, $169 a share, down 80%. Shopify makes it super easy to set up an online store. Objectively, they're dominating the small business e-commerce market and accounting for 10% of all US e-commerce. Although revenue has been going up year over year, 2022 has been a hard year for Shopify, losing money three quarters in a row. Losing $1.4 billion in Q2 and $1.2 billion in Q3 makes it hard to be optimistic. For a while, critics said Shopify is done because Amazon wanted to introduce a similar product called Buy With Prime, but has since moved away from the idea. Amazon is actually closing down warehouses these days, indicating Buy With Prime isn't the threat it was supposed to be. Number 11. 3M currently trading at $122 a share, all-time high $248 a share, down 50%. 3M is a U.S. industry giant, producer of over 60,000 consumer goods and a B2B strategy that made it one of the most successful companies in U.S. history. When the pandemic hit, 3M became one of the largest suppliers of masks for U.S. workers. However, the company is currently in hot water over earplugs they sold to the military, which allegedly caused hearing loss. They actually shut down their specific subsidiary under bankruptcy. Even with all the military drama, the company looks in really great shape, bringing in $35 billion last year and almost $6 billion in net income. Number 12. NVIDIA Currently trading at $131 a share. All-time high, $330. Down 60%. NVIDIA saw a massive rally up because of two narratives, crypto mining and metaverse. As both of these seemed to tone down, the market decided the chip maker should be in trouble and dumped the stock. But that's what the market is feeling. As for us, we love looking at the balance sheet and the numbers. Now that's a lovely year-over-year -year growth. This is what the company's balance sheet currently looks like. NVIDIA is going to be one of the largest players in the AI space as China's demand for hardware goes through the roof, basically hoarding resources at this point. Number 13. Atlassian. Currently trading at $198 per share. All-time high, $458 a share, down 56%. Atlassian is the company behind Jira, Trello, and Confluence. Companies like ours use these tools to organize their workflow. We're paying a lot of money per month to Trello, and so is everybody else who is serious about this. This is one of those weird cases where, despite the company doing better and better, the stock keeps dumping. They'll bring in just shy of $3 billion this year, and we're bullish on B2B SaaS solutions. Number 14. Block. Currently trading at $60 per share. All-time high, $276 a share. Down 78%. Block, formerly known as Square, is one of the largest payment processors in the US. You know when you're paying with a phone at the checkout desk at random stores? Most of them are using Square hardware. There are two reasons why we're bullish on this stock. One, this is what the company looks like in terms of year-over-year -year growth. And two, we really like Jack Dorsey's vision for the future.
In the short term, the company expects to return over 70% to investors. Number 15. Peloton Currently trading at $7.81 per share. All-time high, $162 a share. Down 95%. Okay, okay, we know what you're thinking. Is Peloton even still around? Well, the answer is yes. Sure, the company was overvalued like crazy while we were all stuck inside our homes, and it sure as hell isn't a blue chip pick. But the interesting thing about it is the company didn't die. Actually, we were shocked to hear just how many people are still using the platform with 2.76 million subscribers. The company is expected to release its earnings on November 3rd, but although the company is still losing money, revenues are still substantial. But that's not all that seemed interesting to us about this company. They've recently announced a strategic partnership with Hilton Hotels to put Pelotons in all of their US locations. Looking at the performance, there's still plenty of value in the company and more strategic partnerships might be on the horizon, especially in the B2B space. It's rare to find a stock down 95% that's still pushing for survival, so it might just be one of those crazy bets where you either make a killing in the long run, or Peloton eventually gets acquired by someone like Apple for pennies on the dollar and integrates it with Apple Health. Who knows? Looking at all these stocks, if you were to pick two of them to invest in, which ones would you pick? Let us know in the comments. Now, the video isn't over yet despite many people leaving, but for the few of you still around, here's a secret bonus. Warren Buffett's Strategy For the past five years, Warren Buffett has been the butt of jokes among investors for being inactive, not beating the S&P 500, and even exiting some of the positions at a massive loss. Some of the biggest sharks in the water were quick to call the end of his legacy, saying the Omaha Oracle had lost his golden touch. So what the hell is happening at Berkshire Hathaway? At the end of 2021, Berkshire Hathaway was sitting on $88 billion in cash, money just waiting to be deployed into the market. Now that the time has come, the mammoth is ready to move. A few days ago, they picked up one of the largest insurance companies in the US. And the list goes on, they're even buying up their own shares back. The golden nugget for this video is timing. Warren kicks back, plays bridge, and waits for the time to be right. He doesn't need to move every few months or even years. He waits patiently for the right setup. You don't get rich by doing a lot of small deals. You get rich by going all in when the opportunity comes along. Markets are cyclical in nature, and we've learned this from Warren's business partner and investing genius, Charlie Munger. We've read and reread the almanac of Charlie Munger several times, and this is by far the most valuable lesson we've learned from the success of Berkshire Hathaway. Wait. Be patient. Get yourself in a good position, and when the timing is right, move decisively. This moment in history is by far one of the greatest opportunities to get wealthy, and you're one of the smart ones spending their Sundays looking at stock analysis videos on the internet. Time will pass, and the difference will be between those who took action and those who are just spectators. Pick your future, Aluxer. If you're going to leverage this moment in history to become wealthy, write the word moment in the comments. Don't let this moment pass you by. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time with us today, Aluxer. We're so glad you did. If you enjoyed this one, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.